Have you ever heard about this health condition called indigestion or indigestion before? If not, then I think you have no option than to stick and stay and watch this video all the way to the end. Because what I seek to do in today's video is that I'm going to take you through what is indigestion, what are the causes of indigestion, what are some of the health complications of indigestion, and above all, I will introduce you to one of the most powerful and effective herbal plant God has given to us that can be used in order to, uh, to treat indigestion or to cure indigestion. So this makes this very video a complete video, a three-in-one video. And so if you haven't yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, please, I, I entreat you to kindly smash onto the subscribe button click onto the notification bell afterwards and then you select all so that anytime we bring you videos such as this one you will be the very first person to get notified now let's jump straight into the point what is indigestion indigestion in simple man's term refers to a situation whereby a particular food a person eats refuses to digest within a period of time uh, approximately it takes about four hours, three to four hours for solid food or cooked food such as rice, banku, yam, kinky, and other cooked food to digest from the system. In the same way, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for fruits and vegetables such as bananas, watermelon, cucumbers, lettuce, and the rest to also digest from the system. So if after four hours in the case of cooked food, the food is not able to digest uh, we can term such a situation as indigestion the same thing applies to uh, in the case of what fruits and vegetables so uh, basically or in a nutshell this is what we call indigestion now what brings about indigestion or what are the causes of indigestion there are several causes of indigestion but i'm going to outline to you just three of them and the first one is drinking something or drinking liquid whilst eating or eating whilst drinking. Uh, some people have this habit of drinking something, either water, um, alcohol, soft drink or anything liquid whilst they are eating. And some also have this habit of drinking immediately after eating. And if you do that, what you are trying to mean is that you are diluting the kind of food you are eating. So anytime you drink either water or any soft drink whilst you are eating or you drink immediately after eating, you end up diluting the whole food you have eaten. Therefore, it becomes quite difficult and tedious for the bowel which will be secreted by the liver to, uh, to digest the whole food. So eventually what will happen is that the food you have eaten, you have already diluted it, therefore it will sit idle without digestion and putrefaction will take place and fermentation will also take place. So if you are watching me and you are a fan of drinking whilst eating or drinking immediately after eating, henceforth you need to put a stop to that. That is factor number one. Factor number two, some people also have this habit of going, jumping straight to bed immediately after eating but under normal circumstance the the, the 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 normal practice is that you need to leave at least four hours between your sleeping time and then your what your last meal meaning uh if you if you eat your last meal your dinner uh, you need to leave at least four hours before you can jump to bed and get a sleep so for instance, if you are someone who eat your last dinner or your, your last supper at let's say 6 p.m. Under normal circumstances, you should wait till 10 p.m. before you go to bed. So if you go to bed, you know, um, less than four hours after eating, my friend, indigestion will definitely take place. The food will not be able to digest at all. Therefore, you need to, you know, Take note of that so the best practice is that when you finish eating especially your last meal you need to take a stroll around your area or you need to sit you know chat either even watching television you know make do one or two activities 
and after four hours three to four hours you can then go to you know bed so that is factor number two or cause number two now the last cause which brings about uh, indigestion is lack of metabolism because when we eat under normal circumstances the, the liver will have to you know uh, secrete a bowel onto the food through the bowel what duct uh, and this bowel is going to you know break the food down so that it will be easy for the liver to what to extract whatever the liver wants to extract either good nutrients and or bad nutrients so if at the end of the day a person is having metabolism issue what it means is that the person uh the, whatever food he or she is going to take or eat will sit idle in the body and there won't be no digestion so drinking whilst eating or drinking immediately after eating sleeping or going to bed immediately after eating and lack of you know metabolism are the major factors of indigestion so we need to take note of that now to the health complications of indigestion there are several health complications of indigestion but i'm going to mention few of them the first major complication of indigestion is pot belly yes so if you now go around you see both men and women having pot belly you understand all the i can say that almost 90 percent of people who are having pot belly got it got their pot belly through indigestion yes because if at the end of the day your food sits in your stomach idle without digestion there will be a process called putrefaction the food will putrefy and any putrefied food will turn into a fermented food and any fermented food will turn into fat and other you know things therefore the body will what will place or will, will, will deposit all these fats into under your skin because this our belly here this region our abdomen area is one of the largest sites the body normally dump unwanted substances at therefore all the fat which are produced as a result of fermentation would what will be dumped here so it is not surprising to see both men and women having pot belly nowadays so any person you see with a pot belly is suffering from indigestion but under normal circumstances every person must have a very flat stomach huh? when you when you take off your panties whether a man or a woman and you do this you need to see your private area you need to see your pubic air hair whether you are a man or you are a woman in the case of men you need to see the base of your joystick all the way to the tip in the case of women you need to see where your pubic hair begins so if at the end of the day you what you you go naked and you do this you watch down there and you don't see your your particulars then i'm sorry you have pot belly because the pot belly would have you know obstructed you and you will not be your eye will not be able to see your particulars so most people with pot bellies they normally see inspect their particulars through mirror eh? whether he or she will just go and then stand in front of the mirror before he or she can even take out or shave the pubic hair because he himself or her herself cannot see her particulars due to you know pot belly so that is complication number one complication number two which is constipation yes anybody who is suffering from indigestion is having constipation you definitely constipate constipation is like your friend if you always suffer from indigestion and through the constipation you can develop a condition called pals coco you can develop a condition uh, called wispings and so on and so forth so let's take note of that the third complication is acidosis or toxicity no wonder you now see young people complaining of joint pains waist pains and eh? some people when they when they when they bend down like this they can't they can't stand up straight forward when they bend down they, they will be like 
an aeroplane. You know, when an aeroplane is taking off, you see it doesn't take off just at once. It takes off slowly. Eh? So then when they bend down and when they are coming up, you see something like this. Something like they will be doing this slowly. Due to what? Due to a severe, you know, waste pains. Call it acidosis or toxicity. You understand? Because the toxins will be what will be eating into the bones and the bones will be coming weaker and weaker by the day. Gout, arthritis, and so on and so forth. Other joint pains are all caused by, or 90% of them, or let's say 80% of them are caused by what? By indigestion. Another factor or another compl health complication of indigestion is what? Is a uh, reoccurrent um, body weakness. Yes, reoccurrent body weakness. One, two, the person is weak. When you wake up in the morning, uh, some people, they always complain that when they sleep and they wake up, it's, it's as if they, have, they, they were beaten, you know, throughout the night. They will wake up with severe body pains. Meanwhile, sleep is a medicine. God created sleep, you know, for us to, uh, to relax our body. Because anytime we sleep, the, the brain secretes a certain hormone. Yes. And this hormone repairs the, what, the damaged tissues that was, that was incurred throughout the day. So anytime you wake up, you need to wake up with, you know, energy, with vigor and very good strength. In an event where you wake up and you feel body pains, it tells you that you have suffered from indigestion. You understand? And then the fourth complication of indigestion is stomach bloating. One, two, uh, the person will belch. Uh, uh, uh. Anytime you, you begin to belch, it is an indication of what? Of indigestion. And then the last one is either gastritis or epigastritis because you'll be what you'll be feeling some sort of pains around your chest area we call it epigastritis or you feel the what the gas in your what in your main abdomen stomach we call it gastritis and gastritis can lead to you know stomach ulcer so these are some of the you know complications of indigestion now to the medicine this is the best part of this video so if you haven't watched this video all the, all the way to this point i think you have missed a lot because this is where i'm going to introduce you to this simple plant you can use to cure yourself from indigestion and it is no other than this plant you can see i have around me yes the 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 the, the, the good news about this plant is that i told you uh, when I was giving you the course that metabolism is one of the factors that brings about indigestion. If anybody is suffering from meta issues of metabolism, I recommend beta leaf. This is beta leaf. Yes, I recommend beta leaf to such a person. So far as you'll be taking beta leaf juice or beta leaf tea, you and indigestion will be like having a nerve. Yes. You see the, the, the distance between heaven and earth. That is how you and indigestion are going to be. Indigestion will not get near you, will not get close to you. But but you need to avoid the course, especially eating whilst drinking and drinking whilst eating. You can be taking this if you continue to you know repeat the same ha bad habit, drinking whilst eating, it will be in vain beta leaf will not solve the key issue stop it then you solve your issues with beta leaf beta leaf has proven to be one of the powerful plants which can be used in the treatment of beta. anybody who is suffering from beta leaf you can come to the beta leaf you know pick few of the beta leaves like this mm -hmm. especially when you are going to bed you wash it very nicely maybe one two three you know four so you can pick about three or four leaves of beta leaf like this and then you what you get a water in a bowl and then you wash your hands then you dip the beta leaf the leaves of the beta leaves in it and then you start squeezing it like this washing it in the beta in the water then you see that the color of the water will be changing from 
normal water color to uh, to greenish and when the water you know eventually gets complete gets green you can decide to have uh, to sieve out the what the, the the leaves are from it and then you drink the juice you can drink the juice half cup in the morning half cup in the evening if you continue to do so like i said there's no way you will suffer from indigestion another factor or another cause or another way you can use bitter leaf is by way of boiling it and drinking it as your normal tea so you can get a few of the leaves dry them under a, uh, uh, in a shade or in the sun for some few days after it has been dried you can begin to be making tea of it and start drinking it one cup in the morning one cup in the evening it is quite bitter though but it is worth it it is very very effective very very powerful in the treatment of what in digestion i guess this video has been very very helpful to you especially if you have watched it all the way to this particular point and because of that you are going to copy the link share to your friends your family and people around you and if you are new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please kindly smash on to the subscribe button and then click on to the notification select all so that anytime we bring you videos such as this one you'll be the very first person to get notified i will see you in the next video have a great day and take good care of yourself bye